let's talk online teaching online teaching so got a couple of different platforms for you here where you can teach online without having a degree so the first one is cambly and cambly um doesn't require a degree however they do only hire native english speakers from us canada the uk australia new zealand and also other countries in certain circumstances so uh, i'm not sure what the certain circumstances are um so just be don't be discouraged if you're like a fluent english speaker um definitely check out cambly it's worth applying, you know. Um, the pay is 17 cents per minute, which equates to $10.20 per hour. US. US. Yeah, and I think Cambly is really one of the biggest platforms as well. So that's good to know. And then we have um, Lingoda. Right here, Lingoda. Lingoda is actually a leading online language school in Europe. And um, applicants must be native English speakers. They also need to have a TEFL, TESOL, or CELTA certificate. Two years of classroom experience is also required. And to pay is between 7 and 11 euros per hour. So if you fit that description, if you have all the other requirements, but you don't have a degree, you could go for Lingoda. Then we have Schema Talk. Also, Schema Talk um, only hires native English speakers that are over 18 and that have an American, British, Canadian, Australian, New Zealand, or Irish accent. You can set your own hourly charges on Schema Talk, which is really great. And then Schema Talk takes 20% off of your rate and you keep 80%, which is also really nice, actually. Yeah, and then we have Palfish. Palfish is another very, very big, popular um, online teaching platform. And there are no rules regarding the nationality of the teachers on Palfish. So that's really good. And But a TEFL or TESOL is required. And the average rate is between 10 and 18 US dollars per hour. So it's actually quite, quite nice. Yeah, Palfish. So those are the online options. Um, I'm sure there's more out there. There's so many online teaching platforms. Um, it's you know impossible to cover them all, um, but those are like the four main ones that are ideal for people without a university degree. Um, and also if you are a non-native English speaker, you can try out Cambly and Palfish. Um, and if you are a native English speaker, you can apply to all of them. <laughs> so, yeah, that is that. And I also want to, I actually want to get back to one of the questions I read earlier and I skimmed, skipped. I'm so sorry. Um, here, Andy, is age a factor? I hope you're still watching. Andy, I'm sorry I didn't, uh, I didn't get back to you about that. But um, so it depends on the country. You're 60. Uh, it depends on like where you want to go. I know that for China, for example, um, the age limit is actually 60. Might also be 65. I need to double check. Uh, but some countries do have, uh, you know, their their retirement age, which is either 60 or sometimes 65. Um, so it really depends on the individual country where you want to go. But also even in China, because of or despite that age limit i met people who were older than that who were still teaching so i think it then just depends on the individual employer if they want to hire you or not um i would say with 60 it is maybe a little bit more challenging but definitely not impossible so it would depend on where you want to go so you should do some research about you know that country where you want to go to and what it looks like there. You can always reach out to, you know, to the um, local embassy um, of that country where you want to go to. So, for example, the Korean embassy, the Chinese embassy near you or in your country and ask them those specifics because they would know. Because um, also regulations, they change, you know, sometimes change, especially for China. They change a lot. So it's kind of hard to keep up with everything. But yeah, that's what I would recommend. Ah, if you teach online. Okay. If you teach online, um, I'm not sure. I don't think they really uh, specify that. I, don't, I haven't seen that. 
I actually teach online at a platform called Cafe Talk. And there, I don't think they have any age limits uh, because it's similar to, uh, which one was it? Where you can, um, oh, Schema Talk, where you can basically set your own hourly rate. Uh, you can upload your own like lessons that you wanna offer and then also how much you wanna charge and then people can book you. Um, so with that, age doesn't really matter. No, you just set up your profile, your qualifications, you write a little bit of text about yourself. You can also add some photos and a video. Um, so that would be maybe a great way as well. So Schema Talk or Cafe Talk, that's where I teach. You can check that out, certainly. I should have mentioned Cafe Talk here too, because I don't think you need a degree there either. It really uh, doesn't matter. Cafe Talk is really, really good. So check that out. Good, okay? Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.